Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing how to create your own custom music for the rides so it will just add a little bit of extra customization to your park this is one of my parks and I think we're gonna try designing some music for this merry-go-round down here so let's get right to it the first step to making music is to download a program called Caustic 3 or any other software you want to make music but I'm using this one for this and there is different versions there's the desktop version and the mobile device version I'm gonna be using the mobile device version I'll show you how to download the Windows version though what you do is select the appropriate one for your device so for my device it would be this one then run the file push yes agree next next and then click install and since I already have it installed I'm not going to do that but you should click ins install and then it should go through everything so yeah that's how you do the desktop version making songs with this software is a lot easier if you have a MIDI controller which is basically just a piano that can plug up to your device and it will send the notes that it's being pressed so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna plug up the cable to an adapter so I can plug it into my tablet but if you're using the Windows version or Mac version you would plug the USB cable right into your device now that I'm on the software we can start making music so I'm gonna make a new file and for now we're just going to choose a PCM synth and let's see what presets um, I guess for now I'll just use this piano and a lot of times with this type of ride that I chose it would, in, it would be in 3-4 and let's choose a, a major key signature so how about G major and then it typically has like a a thing like that so I'll see you when I have more of a melody written down for the main part of the song I have more of a melody now so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push this record button and the metronome if you press and hold on it you could see how many count in measures you get so that's how long you have like wait between when you push the play button and when it starts to record so I'm also going to go down and lengthen it to like four measures well it'll be different based off your song if you don't have a controller like this you could just put in the notes in this area or you can play it on this keyboard up here and I'm gonna select that so and also make sure that the bottom it says pattern when you're recording in this mode so there's in this app there's the pattern editor right here and at the bottom there's a place where you put the patterns together and you can see when I click on that again it says song so that would be recording it to right here which might be good in some cases and then you can transfer it to a pattern eventually after that but for right now I'm just going to record after I record I tend to like fix up things so for example for these notes right here I'd slide them out like that so that they're the appropriate length and not place that there and just like make everything a little more in line you don't have to do it fully but it, it depends on the style of song on like what style you're going to do it depends on if you're going to completely quantize it or not but this is what I have so far now that I have this I think we're gonna add some drums so what you're gonna do is push this button right here you're gonna click on that and select beatbox and the there's different a bunch of different kits in here more some of them more electronic than than others I'm just gonna scroll down and select this one right here and I think it's yeah so it's these keys on the keyboard control like these things on here some MIDI controllers you can get would actually be more like a drum and like have more pressure sensitive pads that you can click on but for this I'm just going to be using a keyboard since I don't have one of those 
And what I often do is I play through the song and sort of play along with it to think about what I want to make the song be. So I'm going to do that right now. I think I found out what I'm going to record. So again, I just make sure that everything's set up down here. Um, and either I could record it or just put it in on here. It's easier to put it in on something that includes less notes, like a, a drum beat, and it's less length. But it could get more a little more rhythmically complex. But for now, I'm just going to record this beat. I finished recording the drum beat, and I think this might need to like sort of fit the style of the ride it might need an organ so there's an organ synth in here and we'll just see what different presets might match it a little better now I'm gonna see if I can come up with a organ part for this I came up with what it's gonna sound like so I think I'm gonna expand this to eight measures because it's kind of long and then I'm gonna record I finished recording this and I'm gonna sort of like organize everything a little bit better and sort of make sure everything fits within the thing and doesn't overlap. You can see this is overlapping. I'm assuming that this is supposed to be like that and that like that. And of course you could play through it and see what it sounds like and what it's supposed to sound like and sort of fix the imperfections that way. Now I'm going to move on to the song editor, which is where you place the patterns that we recorded above. So I'm going to place this a few times and this is, I mean, it depends on the song that you're creating where you put these patterns, but it's basically just this is what your song part is that you recorded above, and you can put the other parts at different parts in it. So what I think I'm going to do is have this right here extend all the way to the end, like right there. And then I'm going to add this here, then send this all the way down like that. After you've done some work on your song, it might be a good idea to save. So we push this three line thing down here and click save. Well, I mean click if you're on a computer, touch or tap if you're on a mobile device, of course. So I'm going to name mine merry-go-round song number one. Save that. And when you modify it a little bit, don't go to that save that you were at before. Click on the, uh, down at the bottom, there should be a save button next to the name of it. Uh, just to the left of the song or pattern button, whatever you have selected. So what I'm going to do, I think it's almost done. I'm just going to sort of zoom out a little bit so I can see a little more. I'm going to place this pattern again, make it go a little longer, and then just sort of repeat it a little bit. And Oh, I accidentally saved. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a good thing. So let's move this all the way down so where it fits with that. So yeah, I think this I think this will be fine. You can also click on this three line thing down here and see how long it lasts. So I might want to actually make it go out again. So let's copy and or not really copy, but let's just place this right here and this right here. And we want it to be long enough to where it fits to the ride. So when you do it, you might want to measure how long it takes for the ride to go around. Um, and of course measure that in like the the real time version of the game instead of the sped up version but for this I'm just gonna see how long this will be and then put it in the game and see how it sounds here's sort of the general idea of the song that I made I'll play it for you And it's also a good idea to look at this value down at the bottom right corner to see and make sure that it's not peaking. And you'll see red lines at the top if it's peaking. So I'm going to go back and go to the loudest part of the song and make sure that no red lines show up at any part. I looked through and it doesn't seem like it's peaking anywhere. So another thing you could do is right here you could add reverb and delay or some other effects up above. But I think I'm just going to leave it like this for now. What you do after you finish your song is you'd save it, then you'd push these three lines, you'd push export, and then you could see that it's in a WAV format. And I think this format will be fine. If not, we can convert it. So what we'll do is we'll click export, and then it will say that it's done. 
once you finish exporting it will show you the screen if you're on Android and what I'm just gonna do is click done because I'm gonna transfer it by plugging up the device to the computer so I'll see you there once you plug in your device and click on this PC you should see your device listed so I'm gonna click on that click on your storage and then go down to caustic and then click on songs and then click on export might take a while since I have a ton of songs then search for the name of the song that you made I searched for it and for the sake of this video I'm just going to put it on my desktop if you're doing it on the computer version you can go to your documents folder or wherever you set it up in the uh, in installation process and find the folder and then it's basically in the same spot as the Android version so you could just take it from there the next step we're gonna put the file in a folder so that the game can find it so we're gonna go to our documents and then we're gonna scroll down till we find frontier developments we're gonna click on that and we're gonna click on planet coaster then we're gonna click on user music and then the next step make this a little smaller is to drag this file and put it inside of that folder now that I have the game loaded back up what we can do is click on the ride that we want to change the music for go to this customize tab then we click on the thing that that selects the music right here and then we click on this folder called user music we then select the song that we made and click OK and then you could sort of hear that the song that I made is playing on this ride I mean it might be a little hard to hear over the ride itself but you can sort of See, that's how you uh, make your own custom music in your rides. That's all you have to do to make your own custom music in Planet Coaster. So if you liked this video or if it helped you out, push the like button. And subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And thanks for watching.